Hey everyone, what's going on? I, I thought I'd do this unboxing because I've just bought a new helmet. For two reasons really, I thought I'd do this unboxing on this channel. Just because, number one, because I couldn't find anything on this helmet because it's literally just come out, this colourway of the air flight. I couldn't find anything, I couldn't find any, you know, I could see promo shots and stuff like that and images of how it looks all uh, on the websites and that but no real hands-on video or pictures I've, I've seen so I thought do you know what I'll just do it myself I've done a review before of the of my previous helmet which was the review full face helmet yeah I'm, I'm probably gonna review this one as well which is the Viper RS20 which like a kind of a flip all the way around helmet and that's basically because I think that one's quite rubbish. So I want to review that just so people... Because it is quite reasonably priced and, you know, obviously you get what you pay for. So, yeah. The other reason I'll kind of go into the end, but we're just going to get into this and unbox it. So people who are just here just to see the the uh, the helmet can just get on. And then if they want to stay for the rest, then, then yeah, you can. So here we go. I've got the Airflight blockchain and it's in green. You can also get this one in red. But I'm a, uh, I'm a very green, khaki kind of guy. I, I do like red. I'm a big fan of red. And I've got a little swivel. Woo! Look at that. I keep looking that way because that's where my monitor is, by the way. So I'm not, being, I'm not being distracted or anything. I'm just seeing what's in shot so you can kind of see it. Because I've not really got a setup for unboxing here. But hey-ho, here we go. Ah, straight on the top. This helmet comes with a dark smoke visor or the air, what do they call it? The flight shield. It's basically the visor. Uh, this comes with dark smoke and a clear visor. I kindly asked the, the very, very good guys at HGB Motorcycles, I think. I'll put the link in the description to their eBay page where, where I bought this and they were super helpful. I asked him very nicely, could I have the gold mask instead of the dark shield and there's a reason for that and i'll show you in the helmet in a minute so i got the gold chromey looking one and this is ah so this is the i'm going to take this out of the packet this is one of the main reasons i bought this helmet because it looked kind of I, w I was looking at the battle scar 2 which i really like and then i seen this one just by chance and this was one of the main reasons this is the Super vent, I believe it's called, and this goes right on the top. And it's got some double-sided tape on the back, so obviously you tape it on yourself. Looks like you can't really go wrong because these are little little notches where it fits in, and then you obviously stick it down with a double-sided tape. But that's cool that that doesn't come on. That's quite surprised me. I thought it was just going to be a part of the helmet, but that's cool because what I'm going to do, I'm, if I do a review on this, I'm going to leave that off for a couple of weeks wear the helmet around and then put that on and see if it any, makes any kind of difference so that that's actually quite helpful so there's the so we've got the visor the super super vent and the helmet in a nice bag as well a nice branded bag always like a bag i've got loads of these uh, and the box oh we've got something else in the box more destructions that'll be the warranty i should imagine so here we go the helmet like i said it feels quite light compared to my Revu helmet. That's probably a reason why that feels a bit heavy because it's got this periscope inside it. But it's it's definitely lighter. Is it lighter than that? About the same, maybe a touch heavier than that one. But that's technically an open face, so not a full face at all. Let's, I want to have a look. I haven't even seen this yet. Let's get it out. Tie the bag on me. Why don't you? Ooh, that feels plush. Wow, oh wow. Nah, ooh. Oh. There you go. I will do some B-roll because obviously it's going to be a bit... Now that looks awesome. And it's actually... Rub... That's a rubberized texture. It's not... Oh, that's going to slip off there. <laughs> that's because of the shape of it. It doesn't want to stay on there. So, yeah, it's actually rubberized, which re feels really, like, sort of rugged and nice and expensive. 
That's a good thing you can replace on these as well is the spoiler. I will be getting the gold spoiler to match. As you can see, it's got the clear visor on, which is good because it's got like this kind of noob cybot face shield. The like the chin guard is kind of like really like adventure sport looking maybe. That's a breath deflector right there. I think you can take that out. I'm sure you can with your chin curtain at the bottom. Double D ring. Pretty awesome. That look, I'm so happy how that looks. Now I'm going to just whip off that uh, clear visor. Has it got, a, right, it's got a protective shield. I'm going to keep that on there now because I don't want to, I want to keep this one safe. So I'm going to... Very easy considering I've never done that before. There we go. Look at that. Tell me that is not a sweet looking helmet. Pretty unreal. Oh, and what this helmet, the reason I wanted to swap for the gold is because I've got a clear one and it's got a drop down sun visor in there. Can you see that? That switch is pretty sweet as well. So well, I don't see the point in having the dark smoke when I've got that and I can use that one. Should we try it on? Just for use? No. I I measure. Here we go. Here's a bit of useful info. Because people say, oh, they fit tight. They fit. They fit like this. Fit like this. I measure 57 centimeters around the head where you're supposed to measure your helmet. So if you measure 50, 57 around the head, then you're the same head size as me. So I've gone for a medium, which is 57 to 58. So I'll let you know how it feels. And it looks like I'm not going to get my head in that head in that hole. But uh, I've been wrong before. Oh, God. So that is pretty damn snug. But it will obviously, I don't know if you can even hear me, uh, it will obviously bed into your head, you know, the cheeks will loosen up slightly, but that feels nice. It's very comfy. Plenty of room by your mouth. Yes. But it's not too big either, it's really narrow. Like with this one, if you look how bulbous that is compared. This is so much narrower than this, and even for anyone who's got this, that's that. This looks like that really small, and that was one of the main reasons why we'll get into now why I'm. So everyone, there you go. You'll have your footage. You'll have everything in as I'm kind of talking as well. But that is the icon blockchain in green with a gold visor. And yeah, so one of the main reasons is because I give the review helmet to my partner who when she gets on the back of the bike because she loves it because she can see behind her. So it kind of gets rid of like, because when I'm nipping out and I obviously look over my shoulder and do my checks, um, she, she doesn't do that because she's a passenger, she doesn't need to. But she can always see what's behind her so she can kind of like, gets rid of a bit of that fear of being on the back and it makes her loosen up a bit so she can have that helmet and I use the flip up um, what's it called the, the Viper the flip round Viper now I'm still gonna use that for work and all that because it's good on roads but my god it is a uh, it's noisy drafty uh, the vents don't work properly and it's it's like having a kite attached to your head it feels like when you're on the motorway it feels like your head's gonna rip off so hence why I got something a bit more adequate for when I'm out on a big ride. And that goes for what I'm going to say about this channel now is I'm not too sure what I'm going to do. But I'm thinking of getting like one of these really cool 360 cameras, the action cameras. And I want to record obviously my rides and stuff like that. 
And I was thinking maybe if I did like a motor vlog as well while I'm doing it or just film the ride. But then I thought if I've got nowhere to put them and I'm just saving them on my computer, what's the point? So I may as well upload them somewhere. I'll probably put them on Facebook as well. But I thought I may as well put them on YouTube and people can see the kind of roads that are around here because we live in a beautiful place in Wales and, you know, we're not too far from Snowdon and places like that. So some of the some of the roads are really, really top notch. So I thought, yeah, if I buy a camera, at least I'm getting my money's worth by just making content with it. So I may upload it here because I don't think the gaming channel, I know there's a lot of gaming on this channel as well, but it's kind of random and all over the place. So it doesn't really need to be gaming on here. So for any sort of reviews of motorbike products or anything like that, I'll put on here. I will share them to the main channel on the Twitter and stuff like that, but there's no point putting them on there. I know I did the review, uh, the review review view on there. That's a mouthful. That's what I might do with this channel. Is just upload random videos of me on my motorbike and stuff like that, and maybe the occasional vlog, maybe. Do a bit of gaming as well, obviously, but I don't know what kind of game. Maybe I'll do motorbike games. Retro motorbike gaming. I don't know, maybe do something with that. But I don't know. But I just sometimes I just have the urge to make, to create something, like a video, and there's just nowhere to put it. So here we are. So there we go, guys. If you want to subscribe, I don't know when I'm getting this camera or anything, any timelines or anything like that. So, you know, either subscribe or follow me on Twitter. I'm very active on Twitter, so you can probably see me on there. Um, if not, just subscribe to here, and you know, you're not going to get spammed with videos every day. But eventually, you might get a little video popping up of me with a cool 360 video riding through Snowden with this bad boy. So, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. And um, like I said, if you want to sub, sub. If not, it's all good fun. And. Um, already sick that's gonna be a bastard to clean i can tell you now what do you think cool isn't it yep but right, thanks for watching